Hey, Jay here. We have a 2017 CRF 450RX. This is a brand new machine from Honda. We're going to be doing a few things to make this thing a little bit more trail worthy. We're not going to be racing this thing or riding this thing on moto too much at all. We're mainly going to be on the trails. We want to see how this thing does off-road. And so we're going to get her a little bit battle ready for us. We're going to show you a lot of those things right now. Hey, we're back here in our RX. We're going to give you a little tip on how we set everything up on the bars. So first thing I do is when I got the throttle, I'll push it till it stops and then back it off just a hair. And this is where we'll tighten it down. Right there like that. And then you can base everything off of that on this side. So here we have our starter button on our RX. We'll push that in and we want to be able to reach it with our thumb nicely. We have enough lead here to go over the brake. So just like this. Now on this starter lead, it has a little cutout on the back that goes around a tab off the throttle. On this bike, it's been cut off, so somebody wanted a different location. They want to have the brake way closer. Uh, it was a used bike, so somebody was being goofy. Um, so we got it where we want it here. Now with the brake lever, with this distance from here to here is a, about where we like it. Um, you have the flexibility to come in a little further now. And the other thing I'll do at this time right now is uh, bring the brake lever in actually, because this bike, the, I, I got short fingers and the brake lever's out really far. So it's really simple to do that. You just back off the, the nut. There's a little jam nut and you can just tighten it back up. And there we go. We're in a little closer and you just need a little bit of, depends what you feel comfortable with. Some people out, like them out really far. So now I got that set up and I'm good to go. Now I'll, I'll get this stuff all secure down here uh, really soon. So now we're going to put our clutch perch on. All right, so now we're going to put on our elite perch. It comes in three pieces. You have to buy the perch, the uh, thumbnail ra rail here, the flicky deal to adjust, and your lever. Um, I wish it came in one big back package, but uh, we can't have everything in life. So. I'll show you how we set that up right now. First thing I do is jam this in here. And I, I do put a tiny bit of lube on there, like, you know, a little, say, WD on there. This is when you're washing the bike. Um, this is one you want to blow off and lube every once in a while because it will gall up right here. Okay, this nut doesn't come tight. Also, we'll remove this plastic, this rubber cover. We just remove it for installation. You can remove just one side if you're uh, good, but we're going to just remove the entire thing for ease of showing you everything on this video and how to set up one of these clutches and get all your levers set. So now I loosen this and then I'll throw this on here like so. Still not loose enough yet. So once I get it uh, roughly in location, I'll just snug it up a little bit. I can back this nut off by hand on the bottom. Then I can drop the lever in. Some people will get a little aggressive on tightening this lever down. See right there, it's not going easily. You just got to play with it until it goes down and then put the nut on. And then I'll get a, uh, a 10 uh, wrench or T handle on the bottom and I'll tighten down this 10. Now I like to put this on when there's no lever, I mean, no cable hooked up because you can see that you're not binding up that it's nice and free. So we're all tight and we got nice play here. And so now I can move this and set this kind of, I know from past experience, I like it about that far, about a half inch from the end of the bar is going to get us roughly where we need to be. The exact angle and everything we can adjust when I'm sitting on the bike. So now I'm going to snug it up. I'm going to put on our little thumb reel piece like so. Now this is one of the more harder parts that people have a hard time with is this little rubber piece. So the trick is spit. You put a little spit in there, jam it on here like this with your thumb back here, and you can get it on. And then you put this in here, this to here, and then you find the gap of your thumb reel. You want it in as far as you can. See right there? Now we got play. Now we're out to here. So now, 
see we have way too much play with this clutch. So now what we want to do is we'll move this out to about, say about there, just like a few threads. Now we have to adjust our, our cable, which you can see right behind this number plate. We might need to get on the other side here to get a little better view here. So we're going to back this out. And we should be getting more, getting tighter here. OK, so now we've lost, we're out about as far as we can. So we're, we're going to need a spacer on this one. And I'll show you how we do that right now. This RX will require a spacer right here. OK, I've had to put my spectacles on here. So I had a perch here that wasn't for the RX, which it, they're all you know same perch with other components. But Works Connection is going to need to run a spacer, which they have this spacer available from Works Connection. So some bikes are totally different. This seal, most of them you can get away with their standard setup. So now we can pull this adjuster out here. We're going to dial this adjuster out to a reasonable spot. And we're only about three threads out here, which is good. And we're in about the middle here. So now we can tighten this back up. And so this is simply an eight and a 10 wrench. I got Eight wrench, and you don't want to get these very tight uh, at all. They don't need to be tight, they're not done. Just get a little snug, throw that on there. Okay, now we're going to place our this is our mode switch for the Hondas, a new deal where and it has the kill switch and the mode switch all in one button. Okay, so now I'm going to put the I failed to mention we need to put this cover back on. Just got the two little screws right here with Phillips heads. You just go down and get them good and snug. Nothing on here like this stuff doesn't have to be very tight. And then get the one on the bottom. So these new kill switches are a little bit better than the, say the old Honda ones that blew apart in your, you know, and you had all these pieces flying all over. Um, and this one has mode switches, which so far on this RX, we really like the stock mode or even the softer mode. So. We're going to play with it some more, of course. And uh, I think maybe on big hill climbs, we might like the, the fast one. These are the stock Honda little clippies. The KTM ones are really nice that come now. So I'll put these on. A lot of times, we'll run electrical tape. Um, electrical tape's really nice because um, it's light, minimal, easy. So and these Honda uh, little clippies, straps we'll call them, they're, they're pretty small. They won't fit over this fat bar down here. Okay, so that's everything set up here. So now I'll sit on the bike and set my levers where I like them. Okay, so right in here, there's something that I, you know, I'm not totally stoked with, but we have enough room for our grip. Right in here on this, this area, I might grind away part of this side right here so I can get this to scoot in a little bit further towards the perch. So. Um, but now I've got my levers set where I like. I'm probably going to bring this one up a hair. Okay, so that's all there is. To, that's good bar stuff. We'll give you some tips in another video on putting grips on. It sounds simple. We've been doing it for years, so I've come up with a good little system to keep grips on good and easy. We've got some good new glue. So that's all there is to it. We'll put our bar pad on this thing, and uh, we're ready to rock.